Hello everybody, my name is Lord Bator, and welcome back to another episode of Dreaming Sarah. Now we're just going to get right back into it here. We're not going to waste a whole lot of time. Here we go. Now last time we got totally sloshed and then we found ourselves like nearby a crashed car uh, in some sort of like a hazy, weird existential world where we were kind of, we could see ourselves. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking we are getting close-ish towards the end. There's only a couple item slots left and um, we're kind of running out of things to find. Now one thing I have noticed is you have to kind of double back and recheck out places because new things show up and um let's see we haven't checked over here yet is this thing still gonna go on? it still says that there's something down here but then it says it's up there so i have absolutely no clue what it's talking about who knows maybe something has to pop up yet it seems to think that there's something in this like little patch of dirt over here if we stand right here it points directly down right here and there's nothing i can do there so we're gonna keep on walking around this grassy area i think that's where we found our like teleport um last time so we'll see if we can find anything interesting again Let's see plant the seed there fly up we'll hop on over Eventually, we'll start seeing some people, I believe. Hop, hop, hop. Yeah, okay, there's the totem. And what do we have in our inventory that we don't have before? Or that we didn't have before? So we still have the doll. Oh, that's right, that's one of the new ones we got. We got a bullet. And this doll. Both of these have not been used yet. This gets a slouched. Uh, we did use the juice. Because we teleported into like a mouth or some crap. Oh, the doctor! That's right, the doctor. That's where we left off. Okay, so I believe... Where did we find that? Where was the doctor? Do we just keep moving to the right, maybe? Where did we find the doctor? Hop, oh, oh. Uh, okay, I remember you. You just say that the flower's weird, yeah. The plant is weird, excuse me. That's an important difference. This is Gross Lemonade Kid. I'm pretty sure I'm finished with him. We had this, and then we had the broken clock. That's right. Then, let's see. We had to fall in just the right way. We hop through here. We fall over to the right, I believe. We have to float off to the right a little bit more. So that we can uh, land in the right spot. Yeah. Nope, we didn't do it quite right. We have to move slightly to the left. There we go. This is the tooth. And then we use the the weird juice in order to freak out this thing right here. I still don't like this place, by the way. It still grosses me out. And then we may get to this weird place. It's raining outside. And the trick is finding out what we are supposed to be doing here. This door is closed right now, but the doors have completely at random... Decided to be open and close. So there's something going on with like the order that we move left and right. Uh, we can sit in these chairs. It doesn't seem to do anything. And now there's a teddy bear right here. It leads the same way. Now it's three dots. We leave, come back, it's the same. So there, there's something to do with these icons. But I, I haven't figured it out yet. So if we enter to the right, and then we go back left, I believe it's going to be like the weird little bear symbol. Nope, it's going to be three dots. I have absolutely no clue then. None. 
so if we, but if we keep going this way she'll tell us the doctor will see you in a moment take a seat we sit down in the seat nothing really happens so we go in here and it's uh empty if we take a seat here and we'll wait a little bit um because i haven't taken a seat inside here and waited yet i've only taken a seat um outside and waited so maybe we're supposed to wait here instead but i don't know i think that she's kind of full of crap honestly and we might have to end up looking up what to do next because this is the only new area that i've seen so far and now it's a duck And the boys' bathroom is open. Oh, that's right. We have this murder mansion. I forgot about this. And I don't think we can actually get through here is the thing. I think we're too slow and we probably need some other item. Because, like, even if you're, like, right here, it still counts you as getting killed. So, yeah, you're just not fast enough to be able to make it through there. So there, there's some sort of order that's supposed to be going on. See if we can figure out what causes that other one to be open. Because the pink door does open. We've been in there. I'm just going to run back again. Now there's a little person with two X's. I have no clue what it means. There's also this door. But nothing there. So we're just going to run back and forth again. Just to see if that helps. Now we got the bear. Okay, that room is still open. Now we got bubbles. Nothing there. We go in, we go out. No difference. I don't know. Starting to kind of get on my nerves, honestly. Look, see, look at how long it is. That's impossible. You definitely have to be faster than that in order to keep up with it. And that looks like a, an image of a duck. And there's a kind of like a duck right here. Still got an image of a duck. That just brings us back here? I don't know. I'm stumped. So I guess I'm just going to have to look look it up because I have absolutely no clue at this point. We've run around the outside area for so long. We've run around in here for quite a long time. I don't know what any of the symbols mean or if it matters or if any of them matter. They say take a seat. I don't know how long they expect us to wait around, but I'm gonna I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and just look up the cheats because. Dreaming Sarah just has proved itself to be too hard. Okay, I'm back and I found it. Well, the guide found it, but I probably would not have spotted this because I thought that this direction was a death direction, but apparently it wasn't. But I found there's a paint bucket sitting over here. Now, I have no clue what to use that for. Equip it to change color. Uh... Okay, I have absolutely no clue how that is going to help us. So, blue. We're blue now. Where? What? Where? <laughs> Why? Uh, I mean, I guess I can, like, go back to, the, like, the car crash area, maybe? Maybe there's something going on there since I look different now. Yeah, it just changes my shirt color to, like, a dark blue to match everything else. Let's go ahead and use this. That wasn't the correct thing. I want the idol. Which I believe is back a little bit farther. Hop, 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 hop. 
Do do. But who knows? There might be something that I'm just not recalling either. Well, I want I want to see if this will make a difference. Because this is our little car crash thing going on over here. Why well, I have to keep on running down this road. Run down the road that I thought I was finished running down, but I guess I always end up back to where I started from. I guess that's just an analogy for life, isn't it? Hey, hey, how's it going? Uh, okay. Hey, I got a different shirt. Does it make a difference? No? Okay. I guess it doesn't make a difference. Let's get out of here. Pop that peel again. All right, well, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to go ahead and look it up again. All right, there's the elevator. All right, what spawned here now? I thought for sure that we were done with this area, but apparently there's one more thing after we got all of this stuff. So let's see what we got. Go over here. To the eye. Use the magnifying glass. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that did. It did make the eye shrink. I think we're supposed to unlock an achievement for doing that. So, I don't know. Maybe we accidentally did that already? I don't know. I don't know. That didn't seem like anything. So, I'll be back again. We have to go back to the the... The, the, the bar. I don't know why I couldn't say that. But the bar. And give the bullet to the pianist. Which I swear I went back there at some point. I'd have to check the recording. But I could have swore I went back there. But maybe I just went and grabbed a drink like right off the bat. So who knows. Maybe I missed a step there. So we're going to head over there and see what that does. See if we can piece anything else together. So we have to hop down here, run into that television set. Oops. No, I'll, I'll keep that. I still know why we have to be blue. Haven't really detected a need for that. But who knows, maybe it's still later. Maybe it's later yet. I'm just going to drop down here till we find the rocket. I think it's right down here. There we go. All right, time to go get another. Actually, no, we're not getting a drink because then I'll teleport. I don't want to teleport. Apparently, I can interact. There you go. There's there's a bullet for you. That. Not interested in playing music anymore. Okay, well. Maybe that was just some really harsh criticism. <laughs> Hello, Space Bunny. How's it going, Space Bunny? What about you? Do you have anything? Are you useful at all? Nope, you're one with the universe. Okay. Okay, time to pop a pill again. Maybe something changed on the main menu again. I don't know. So I'm going to do the honorable thing and look it up. Okay, so this time, apparently, we have to... There, there's something else in here. I walked around here for a while, so I thought I found everything, but apparently I didn't. I'm just missing everything, but it is kind of getting to the late stages of those games, and there's a lot of exploring involved, so I guess it's to be expected. Fall down here, and then fall into the gap to the right. I'm not sure. Maybe it's this way. I, I'm not sure that it knows what it's talking about. Maybe it's talking about this. Uh... Well... That was not intentional. Okay, well... I think, I kind of think this is where we're supposed to be anyway. Yeah, here's a shell necklace. So this was where we were going for. I just didn't follow the instructions correctly to get here. Equip it to turn to a fish? What?! 
We can turn into a fish? The crap? I did not see this plot twist coming. Look at this. An anchor? Alright. I'm a fish. Oh, hi. Okay, no. I still have business to take care of. I'm not ready to return to the land of the normal folks. Let's see. Some seaweed? Air bubble? Boop, boop, boop. Don't mind me, I'm just a fish. I don't, is that how fish swim? Directly? <gasps> Ooh! Landmines! Okay, hi, how's it going? How's it going, my guys? Don't mind me, I know you tend to be a little bit touchy, so... I'll mind my distance, I'll... Oh, that's just great. That's just exactly what I wanted. Now I'm swimming in blood. Did you have to really just go and bleed everywhere, dude? Really, my guy? It's pretty inconsiderate. You know, some fish live down here and, you know, we... Well, we live down here. That's a, that's it. That's I don't... I don't have to say anything else. That should get the point across pretty well. Anything else? This is where he bled and made everything a mess. All right, I'll get, oh, <laughs> I like living life on the edge, you know, just getting close to death. Just close enough to give you that thrill of blowing up into a billion little tiny pieces. Oh, it's getting darker. Oh! Okay, okay, so you cannot, oh, wait a second. Oh, these landmines are fake. I can't even blow up on them. In that case, no threat. Maybe they're just expecting you to be afraid of them. Oh, they forced me to change again. Hi, Blue! Hmm, I see they're letting anyone in now. Yeah, it was so exclusive before. Sup, cutie? <laughs> well, thanks. Hello, cowboy. These wounds, they will never heal. These wounds, they just don't heal. The pain is just too real! Oh hey look, it's the Lumberjack, it's Squidward. Hey, it's you again. As you can see, I got a new job, isn't that great? And all I have to do is guard this door. You can go in if you like. Alright, that security guard won't let me in. Would you help me out and distract him? Thanks, you're the best. Uh, how am I supposed to distract him, being a fish? So, are you going in or what? Why are you staring at me like that? Come on, quit doing that. No, okay, there we go. <laughs> he's just talking to a fish, he's like, Hey, why are you staring at me like that, fish? Oh, this is the first we've been here. Hello, Butchin. How are you doing, Butchin? I saw what you did. Uh, cool, bro. Cool. Cool story. Oh, hi! Did we get you all murdered? Was that little monster a, a murder? Okay. Okay. I sorry, but I got stuff out of it! Yay! Not sorry. I got a bus card. You could use it to get anywhere. A bus card? All right, let me be a fish again. I, I need to use the toilet. Oh, are you kidding? A bus ticket. We can use it to get anywhere. Let me check the guy. I want to leave this place if there's something else we have to do yet. Okay, so apparently we did it right. Uh, all we have to do is pop the pill again. We start at the start, then we're going to head back to the clock dimension. There we go. So I don't think we found a, an easy way out of the, the doctor's office yet. So let's see what it was. What did we have to wait for? Hello? Please take a seat. Yeah, okay. So this is open now. Ah. Uh, that's right, we did get in here before and there wasn't anything. So I still have no clue what the point of that is. So let's see, what do we do? Take a seat on the chair on the left, speak again with the receptionist. 
Oh. I, did I did we not do that before? Maybe we just didn't do it in the right order before. He's taking his time, isn't he? Okay. How about now? You know, sometimes he gets lost. You mind looking for him? You mind looking for him? Oh, okay. So I guess this is the proper turn of events now. We have to go find the doctor. There's, all, there's only so many places that he could be. There he is. Okay, there he is. The purple duck. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. You have a keen eye to find me here. Of course, I was hiding. What? No, no, I did not get stuck here by accident. Okay, this is just embarrassing. Meet me in my office. I can give a better diagnostic there. Alright, yeah, I've, I've been waiting, dude. I've been waiting. So it looks like the little icons literally meant nothing. They just change willy-nilly. Alright. I've been waiting. Talk to me, Doc. Talk to me, Duck. <laughs> so, you have been running around, haven't you? Yes, yes, yes. You should take things easy. Take my watch. If I can't slow down, might as well slow down everything else. Oh, I can't slow you down. Might as well slow down everything else. Okay. See, there we go. That's the last piece of equipment. And I know exactly what that is for. So we're just going to keep on going. Because we know exactly where we want to be. There's, o there's only so much left now. So I, I get the feeling that we are right next to the end. I just got that vibe. Honestly, I'm kind of embarrassed that I uh, tried so many times to make it th through that not going slow motion. All right, we got the street lamps. Hello. Are you sure this is what you want? Think carefully about it, my dear, and good luck. I have no clue what you're talking about. I'm wearing blue. A wall? Oh, are you talking about hopping over here? Not my blue! What was the blue for? This does seem like a kind of end sequence type thing. No, my bubbles are popping! Am I losing my stuff? Man, I worked so hard to get that stuff. Come on. Dreaming Sarah. Is that the end? That didn't explain anything. I was I was expecting something. I guess it was just a little adventure. It's kind of a letdown of an ending there. Is this what you want? And then that's it. What was half of the stuff that we did? I don't understand what the purpose of it was. Like the the bullet to with the pianist and I don't think we did anything with the doll. I'm I'm think we might have missed a couple achievements or something like that. So I don't know what what else there was to do. But I don't think I'm going to spend a whole lot of time uh, going and trying to figure it out. Well, I think we're just going to end it there. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash like comment and subscribe dislike it if you dislike it let me know in the comments below what you thought of dreaming sarah what's your theory as to what the plot is um it there looked like it was a car crash we saw ourselves there were we dead i don't know at the very ending there it looked like jumping off a bridge maybe but then we just kind of flew and then we had a bunch of bubbles so i don't know i'm not exactly sure about the themes it did seem like there's something uh implying a, a sad or darker overtones here and there or undertones excuse me um so th there might be something like that going on as far as the plot goes but it was kind of hard to decipher 
So, but maybe I'm not, maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe I'm not paying enough attention. That could be it too. And there might have been too much time in between each uh, recording session. But that's it. We got it. We finished the game. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making it. It was kind of fun and adventurous. It got a little bit at the end, a little difficult to keep up with it because we started just losing stuff. But overall, it wasn't too bad. So good job, developers. It was a little adventure type game. The end. Oh, blue flowers. There's blue flowers. Maybe that had something to do with the paint. So it, we were at, we're at the hospital. We survived a car crash or something like that. I, I guess maybe. We're not dead. The end. Works for me. We're at the hospital. So that, that was the dream. Maybe we woke up from a coma or something like that. That maybe that's it too. But there we go. So once again, thank you all for joining. And I hope you have an excellent day-night, whatever time you're watching this. Bye-bye!